Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where I post every Monday and Thursday. In today's episode, we're going to check out some upcoming UI design tools which is going to blow your mind. Some of these tools are from the likes of Amazon. So this will be very very cool. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So the first app is called Draftbit and it's a web-based tool so you don't have to download anything. It allows you to create applications, things like native apps, Android, and even iOS apps, the visual tool just like you would have in XD or Figma. They have a lot of cool features like adding your own APIs, deploying websites, and even in the future, they are bringing uploading to Google Play and the Apple App Store directly from their service. So this will be a really cool alternative to Android Studio maybe someday. They also have Figma like features like collaboration so you can even bring your team in. To request access all you need to do is say request access. I'm on the waitlist but if I click on 30 second survey if I fill out this survey, they will give me instant access. Once you get access, you will come to this dashboard right here. Now I could create my own app by just clicking on create app. Once it opens up, it opens the entire design along with all the code of course. I can switch between design and code by clicking on this little code button on the top left. If I click on this, it shows me the actual code that goes behind this design. And what you can do is click on anything just like you can in Figma, Sketch or any other tool. And you can change things like the size of the text, the font, the color. You can even give each component different names from this configuration tab on the top. And you, you even have accessibility options. So you have a lot of options pertaining to your app design right here. They also have an interactions tab on the top right. So if you want to create interactions, Actions, you can just do that if you click on any element just like this get started button they already have one trigger added I can always add another trigger by saying add action now next is something that I've actually installed on my Mac right here it is now also available for Windows which is brand new so if I click on haiku Haiku basically is an After Effects alternative to keep it simple. Now, once you get into a certain project, like I have this example project loaded for you guys, and much like After Effects, it also has a timeline where you can add opacity, size, transform, style, and much more. And you can change for each of these elements on screen right here. And just like the timeline in After Effects, if you know After Effects, or if you have some experience with it, using this tool will be super, super simple. Now, what's unique about this is that on the left, we have something called States Inspector. So if I click on an element, something will happen. And that is controlled by is mouse down, disabled, randomizer, snap count, and much more. So you have a lot of different states and you can create your own custom states right here. So if something is invisible, make something else visible, things like that. Now, something that really attracted me to this tool is the publishing options. Now, After Effects, you have to install a third party plugin to allow it to export to something like JSON. But with Haiku Animator, you can just go to this built in publish button. Now, you can also have a shareable link here. But apart from that, you have things like Vanilla JS, HTML plus CDN, React Native, View, Angular, iOS, Android, React, GIF, or a video. So you have so many options already in built. If I always want to shift it to Android, if I click on this, it already exports the Lottie.json file. So you have JSON in built. Now all that is cool, but how expensive can such an amazing tool be? Well, the After Effects competitor here is just 325 rupees a month. And if you look at Adobe tools, they're all thousand rupees a month. So this is less than half the price. So go ahead, try the seven day trial and you know, test the waters and see how and to put a cherry on top. They also have an educational or a student discount. Now, if you are looking for an After Effects alternative for your web browser, then look no further. There's something called SVG Artista which allows you to animate components, UIs, and even SVGs from right here. There are some default things that you can change from the left. So there's certain properties that it allows you to change like this right here. And depending on what SVG you upload, it shows you different options. Once that is done, you can even export as code. There's a get code button right here. Now the next tool is by Amazon. Yes, Amazon is coming into the design space. But all you need to do to join the beta program is just click on try for free and it does that 
Now, once you get into the dashboard, it's very plain and simple. You just click on create workplace and this no code tool actually has a lot of templates which will get you started. Now we have this builder on the left, which is actually what we are interested. If I click on to do, it allows me to open a builder right here. Now the builder is where you can design stuff, where you can add elements and customize those elements. And a very cool feature is that you can switch between mobile and web apps. So if you're creating a web app, go to web app. If you want to create a mobile app, click on mobile app. Now this tool is somewhat restrictive. That means you cannot change the design for each and every component. You can change all the data and the components itself. Now this tool from Amazon is very limited right now, but I hope to see a lot of other very design centric tools, much like in Figma or in any other no code tool. Now the next tool is also in beta, of course. Now Doric from the face of it looks like a web flow alternative. But when we get deep into even the landing page, you can see focus is a lot on the actual design, the UI blocks, design systems, and much more. And at the end, they of course show you where you can host, how you can host with Doric. And the templates are actually quite impressive. As you can see, seems like very premium level designers have made these pending on my need. I can always say select and it basically brings the template in and I can always just like in any other design tool, change all the components, edit the element and the styles itself and much, much more. And only once you are satisfied with their tool or their platform, do you need to sign up or log in? That's how cool this website is and that's how transparent they are. Now, last but not the least, we have Vectornator.io, which being a vector design tool also promises to be a great UI design tool. Yes, you heard that right. If I click on UI design, they have an entire web page dedicated to just designers like us. They also have a lot of Figma-like features, which I was very surprised by. And at the end, you see a very big surprise. Rather than just being able to design user interfaces on your computer, you can even do it through Wacom, through Apple Pencil support, as well as on your iPad. You can always import from Sketch and Figma into these tools, then edit it just like any other UI design tool. As you can see, I have opened Vectinator on my map and they've already opened up a, a good example for me here for the app design itself. If I, if I click on this little button down below right here, I can always change the button dimensions, add shadow, stroke, much like in Figma. So that was it for today, guys. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel because I create such amazing content every Monday and Thursday. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Same place, same time. God bless.